All right, guys, so we have some very interesting news um, or some very interesting data that just released yesterday from Abacus uh, Data Polling. Um, now, before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe as it does really help grow this channel. And also, uh, if you don't mind leaving your comments as well, because I do like uh, engaging with you guys as well. And again, I appreciate every single one of you who does, whether it's a positive uh, comment or a negative one. Please keep that going. I do enjoy the engagement. So. We uh, covered a little bit yesterday about the uh, the recent polling that came out where it showed that Pierre Polyev had basically restored a 20 point lead. They also, though, did a, a poll where it says federal vote intention, those certain to vote. Sometimes people take polls and then they don't end up voting. They don't like the options or whatever their reason is. But these are from people who are certain to vote and the conservatives are up to 47 percent. Liberals down to 21 percent. NDP at 19, Block at 8, Green 3, Peoples at 2. The reason I wanted to talk about this is because, in my opinion, this is closer to the actual reality. Again, more liberals take polls than conservatives do. A lot of polls also go on um, not just the current polling, but the history of the polling. So that's why you're seeing liberals kind of, in most polls, go between you know 24 and 27%. But with those certain to vote, he's at 20, 21%. I still think that Trudeau is going to be just under 20% with the when the election actually comes around and Pierre Polyev will be around 50%, but 47 is already pretty close to 50, but I think it's still going to go up a little bit from there. That being said, this it would be the model that I would trust the most. Um, and it's just kind of funny, you know, when, when you look at you know, Justin Trudeau and what the liberals are saying and what <laughs> Jagmeet Singh and the NDP is saying is that, well, Canadians don't want an election. Canadians are happy. I think it was Melanie Jolie who was on TV this weekend saying that Canadians are happy and they don't want an election. It's like, uh, yeah, I guess liberal Canadians are happy, but even them, a lot of them aren't happy. There's a lot of people who are refusing to vote for even just an MP to go into Parliament if Justin Trudeau is still the leader of the Liberal Party. And his numbers just keep going down. And once the new year comes, they're going to go down even more because you have the carbon tax increase in April and the mortgage rates are going to increase, I believe, in January. So his numbers are going to get even are going to get crushed even more. Right. I mean, when you're in this big of a hole, I mean, there's just no coming back if you're Justin Trudeau. I don't understand fully why he doesn't resign, although I guess, to be fair, no one probably wants that job right now until after the election is over. So I don't see someone like Mark Carney, for example, taking over that party and inheriting Trudeau's mess before an election. Because then what happens, so let's say he takes over in December, for an example. What happens then is you now have about 10 months, potentially before the next election, and you have this new liberal leader who is basically the same as Justin Trudeau. People will realize that their life is going to get more expensive. It's going to be harder to get by, just like it is now under Trudeau. And then they're going to still vote conservative. They might get a little bit of a bump right at the beginning if that does happen. Because it's like, oh, okay, we got a new leader. He'll be better. And then he's going to prove it over 10 months that he's not any better. And that he's basically the same thing. And Canadians are going to go back to the conservatives anyway. So if you're Mark Carney, the best option would be to wait until after the next election. Then you come in and say, okay, I'm different. And these conservatives are bad. And I'm going to bring the Liberal Party back. That's a way better plan for him than to just inherit a train wreck of a, a prime minister's term like Justin Trudeau's has been. But that's just my two cents. Uh, who knows what's really going to happen? It, it is kind of baffling to me that <laughs> Justin Trudeau's ego will just not allow him to resign. But like I said, there's not really anyone who wants to or can replace him right now. The liberals are likely just going to have to let the ship sink, uh, sorry, the ship sink, and then they're going to have to just regroup and start over again, similarly to what they had to do in 2011 when they got absolutely crushed. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a more accurate polling? Do you think they're off? Um, and if you think that, like, do you think that they're too low on the conservatives or too high? I always appreciate your comments, guys. As I said, I really enjoy the engagement. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.